Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Believers in Christ, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring to you once again good tidings from the Lord. And as you listen, may you all be blessed in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Yes, believers. I have a few words on Shiba Inu coin and uh, Luna Classic coin. Recently, I was praying during my AM devotion. I think that was three days ago. Yes, three days ago. And I was asking the Lord, what was the first quarter? We are almost gone. Uh, we are almost gone with first quarter, second quarter of the year. What does it hold for crypto? I asked the Lord to speak to me or to open my eyes to see what it is to come for the second quarter of this year, 2024. I was praying asking the Lord. I didn't receive any anything from the Lord via vision or dreams. But yesterday I was studying the Bible at one of my elevated altar where I study and I, I pray. And the Lord spoke to me while I was studying his word. Yes, believers. Let me teach you something a bit before talking about crypto. You see, when I say the Lord speak, I, years ago, I gave my life to Christ. Five years ago, I have the gift of vision and dreams. But two years ago, I started hearing audible voice from the Lord. And before I started hearing from the Lord, there is one father of faith of mine. I went I went to him one afternoon. Then I have not started hearing from the Lord. I went to him one afternoon and I asked him, Daddy, how do what would a what would a uh, a believer do that he can hear God speak to him? Or how can I hear from the Lord? And this father of faith replied me. He told me it's a secret. So I adjusted myself and I, I gave him attentive ears. And he told me, Brackley, if you want to hear God all the time, study his word. He said, God does speak in the place of prayer, but he speaks more to a man when you study his word on a regular basis. And while you are on his word studying, he will speak to you. And I asked him, is that all? He said, yes. Go and try it. And you come back and tell me the outcome. And then I look at him straight in the eyes and I told, and I asked again, I said, are you sure? And he laughed. He said, yes. He's 100% sure. He told me. He said, tarry in the word of God. Not only prayers. You pray, you study his word. You pray, you study his word. Make it a constant um, rioting, a constant thing you do on daily basis, especially his word. And he told me I should study his word in the morning and last thing in the night. Morning and night. 
and he told me make sure if you don't because the bible is 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 is, is large some of us if we open the bible now because it's we felt it's too big you don't know where to start from this is the strategy the strategy i applied for example the day you are starting in the morning great time for yourself if you are the type who go to work very early maybe at your break time and you want to study the word of the lord for example the first day you are starting for example genesis chapter 1 that is old testament matthew chapter 1 two chapters in a day one chapter from the old testament one chapter from the new testament in the morning in the night genesis chapter 2 matthew chapter 2 the next day morning genesis chapter 3 matthew chapter 3 on and on like that you make it if you set your the timetable for yourself like this you will not get lost when you open the bible so these are the strategies i use my own and i begin to type if you can't even read in the morning in the afternoon it's okay afternoon and night it doesn't happen immediately but when i obey it commune with the lord in prayers always i pray more than i i study then but after this father of faith told me i try to aggregate them prayers and studying of his word and since then after like a year passes and for the first time the lord spoke to me first voice of god i heard one and a half years ago was it doesn't make any sense to me i hear the voice speak loud the lord is your first lord your lord is your first lord i repeat the lord is your first lord your lord is your first lord and the voice got off that was the first audible voice i hear god speak from that day i begin to hear this thing is not difficult it's a secret i'm also handing over to you today anybody can hear from the lord after this video whatsoever i tell you take it to the lord in prayer yourself and the lord will speak to you yourself all you need to do if you're a christian and you said i'm not hearing from the lord do the same thing have a steady time you meet with god and have a steady time morning and night or afternoon and night where you study his word you digest his word without distraction not the one you are studying television is on or you are doing all children are pray playing around you making noise no have a quiet time study his word and you will see god speak to you and you see what is so funny about the way god speaks when we talk about crypto now on daily basis he will, he will speak to me do this do that do this do that please the video might be long i want you to learn i want you also to learn let us grow together mm? it will be good when we all grow together don't look don't skip and say let me skip to where he, he wants to talk about shiba inu and luna classic no listing believers it is good i use this channel this youtube channel as a means of communicating the word of the lord passing it to people out there believers are watching me unbelievers are watching me also mm. so please listen carefully follow me even though the video is long so as i was saying it is easy you too can hear from the lord create a time study his word regularly morning and night pray regularly the bible said we should pray without season prayer without season and you will definitely start hearing if you tarry in the place you don't study today you need to study tomorrow no keep studying just focus the lord always speak to me when i'm studying the bible yes most of the time few times when i'm at, at work walking at sight walking but mo few times but most times is when i'm with my bible and when you are studying please if you want to start studying the word of the lord from today don't read the bible from your phone never i tried before but it doesn't work for me you get distracted 
if you always study the Bible through your phone, have um hard copy Bible. Yes, when you want to study, put your phone on on plane, plane mode, so that you can focus. You buy a big Bible. Like I have problem of um uh, uh maybe short side. I don't know. So my Bible is big. You won't be distracted. So I was saying the Lord speak to me mostly when I'm studying His Word. Okay, as I pray and I told the Lord that you should speak to me what it is to come in the second quarter for cryptocurrency. So I'll prepare myself. If I want to invest, I will know which coin to invest before the bull run. And I didn't hear anything. He didn't show me anything in dream, in vision. But yesterday, no, or the day before yesterday, I was at my elevated altar reading the Bible. I was at the point of reading the Bible. I was reading the book of, I think, the book of Matthew. Yes. Matthew. I was reading the book of Matthew and he speak, he spoke to me regarding Shiba Inu. Yes. So this thing is easy. Very, very, very easy. And did you know why as believers it is important you hear God? Very important. Sometimes vision will not come. Dreams will not come. But if you are the type who hear from the Lord, it will keep you going. It will help you most time not to make mistake. If I hearing from the Lord can even make you to make high profit in your business. Yes. Let me give you a testimony. Why hearing from the Lord can even make you have high profit in your business by the special grace of god i i have a mini a mini or should i say a micro block factory where i produce block blocks for building a house the lord told me to start that was i think two years ago now and i started so to call the long story short from September last year, no, October, no, 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 November, November, the Lord blessed me with a lot of contract. I was seeing contracts for solar installation here and there. I was traveling. I was doing my job with my boys, take my boys to site and we work and I made a lot of money. So, I, after I took part of the money, I put it in the account where we normally bless widows, widowers, the needy, the old, on monthly basis. We bless. There are some people we bless on a monthly basis in my ministry. I took the portion of the money and and transferred to the account. So the rest, I was as I praying, asking the Lord, which coin should I put this? I want to invest, Father. Which of the coins should I invest? And while I was studying his word, another day, and he spoke to me, don't invest in cryptocurrency. Put your money, any money that is coming now, any money you make from your business, put it in your block business. Keep molding that block. I wasn't making sales. I obeyed. All the money I made from all my solar installation in November, electrical installation as well in December, I put them all in the uh, block uh, business and I was not selling I was not selling down to January contract kept coming even last last week I, I did I still did run a contract contract kept coming and I kept I obeyed the Lord my mind was in crypto I want I want to I want to add to my crypto bag but he said put your money in your block block factory and I kept producing the blog. I wasn't selling throughout last year to January. Mid January, I begin to wonder myself that why did the Lord ask me to keep investing in my blog, uh, blog business? Mid January, believers, I, when I have more than enough blocks on ground and I wasn't making any sale, I wanted to stop. There is a job I did. There is a job I did. I made a lot of uh, money from that job. And I wanted to disobey. I wanted to buy crypto. 
I discussed it with my wife. My wife said, remember, you always regret when you disobey. I didn't buy any crypto. I continued producing the block. Do you know that little did I know that cement, cement we are using to, to produce blocks, the price skyrocketed from about early this year, from about um, 5,400. They are selling cement now here in Nigeria, a bag of cement from 5,400 early January skyrocketed to 10,000 plus. I think it's about 9,000 plus now and I have enough block on ground. Hmm. Then I realized why the Lord said keep molding those blocks because a time will come you'll not be able to buy cement to mold. And when the price shoot up I discovered I have gotten more than enough block produced on ground already. And then I went to the Lord. I begin to thank him. I begin to appreciate him. And then I told the Lord, yes, I, 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 I thank you, Lord. I have more than enough block on ground. I will not buy this costly cement now. I won't. All I need now is sales. Father, bring me sales. And I did this prayer. And behold, few days or weeks later, or a week later, few days or a week later, heavy sale came. The sales that was coming, not even scanty sales, heavy sales. Remember, he told me since last year to start to start. Um, you know, I mean, to continue producing those blocks. When cement was cheaper, and I never knew the reason why he said keep producing. I made a lot of profit because I produced with a cheaper cement then, that last year. Till now, sales was coming, coming, and I made a lot of profit. And I said, this God, it is good to work with the Lord. And in anything you want to do, take it to the Lord in prayer first. Ask the Lord. And He will make your He will make your ways prosperous. When you are close, He is divine, He is divine. That's what the Bible says. And we are the branches. Any branches that got cut, cut off from a tree. Branches of a tree got cut off. That branch will die. It will dry. That is how it is with we and the Lord. The Lord is the true vine. We are the branches. Don't get cut off from the branch. Stay connected to him always. Take everything to him. In fact, everything to him in prayers. That is one testimony. Recently, the Lord spoke to me. I was studying the word. That was this month, February. There's an uncle of mine. I've not seen him for the past maybe seven or eight months. Since I lost my father here in Lagos. He is the most senior uncle, my father brother, here in Lagos. So we, we look up to him as father. He was the one who led my father to Christ, far back 1999. He's also a little bit old now. So, the Lord spoke to me, I heard it. Call your uncle, Augustine. I was at, I was at work when the Lord spoke this word to me. While I was busy, and that place is noisy, I disobeyed. I said to myself, I, 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 I will call him later. And I forgot that day. I didn't call him. While I was studying the word, the next day, I, I didn't go anywhere. The word came again. The voice came. Call your uncle, Augustine. And I picked my phone immediately. And I called him. We've not talked for over seven or eight months. And I called him. Immediately picked the call. It was, I greeted him. He answered me. And as we get talking, it's as if he's not the one talking. The voice has changed. And I said, hello, is that you, uncle? This is not your voice. He said, then he answered me. He said, it's my voice that I've been ill, very, very ill, that we should pray for him. Huh. And I said, no wonder. The Lord asked me to call you. No wonder he has been pricking my heart to call you. He spoke to me that I should call you. That's what I told my uncle. He said, thank you for calling that. I've been very, very ill. And I asked him, what is wrong? He said he didn't know. But he has taken self-medication. I think malaria drug, typhoid drugs, and pain reliever. But he said none is working. Even he collected drips upon drips, medication into drips. A nurse, a nurse came to his house to treat, it, to treat him. But he's getting worse. His health is deteriorating seriously. 
And I told him, have you gone to the hospital so that they will run, let them run tests to be sure of what, what is actually wrong with you. And he told me, where is the money, my son? Where is the money? Since I got retired, there's nothing. And I was deeply sad. So, I caught the call and I transferred some money to him. Transfer some reasonable amount of money to him. And I told him, go to the hospital, to general hospital. Go there and you'll be treated. And why we back you up in prayer. And that night, me and my wife, we prayed for him. Because my wife, I remember, my wife, in fact, hallelujah, I remember now. In the month of January, my wife had a dream about that, my uncle. Where he was, where, I think my wife said he died in that dream. And we have prayed for him in the month of January. We stood in the gap. I didn't tell him. When my wife told me this dream, we prayed together. But in the month of February, when, I, when the Lord put it in my heart to call him, I never knew he, he's even he's dying already, but he's not dead yet. So I sent him some money. He went to the hospital, and they treated him. And me and my wife, that night, we soaked ourselves in prayer, and we prayed. We prayed for him. Few days later, or a week later, he called me, and he... He called me to thank me. He was appreciating that if not for the help, financial help he rendered to me, I would have died. Because he said that is what the doctor told him at the hospital. That why didn't you come to hospital since? That I didn't mean you delay, but you will die. How do you explain? And he called me and I told him, you can't die because I have prayed for you. Me and my wife, we stood in the gap in prayer for you. You can't die. The death has passed over you. You see why it is good to hear from the Lord. Because as we are talking, I told him, why didn't you call me so that we can help you with some money? As usual. He said he doesn't want to call. He doesn't want to bother anybody. That the economy is too harsh. He knows. Every the economy of Nigeria is messed up. Common food. People cannot afford to buy food. 80,000 naira for a bag of rice. How do the poor feed? And this saddened my heart. We bless him again. You see, this is why it is good to hear from the Lord. I didn't, been, the Lord didn't, I didn't hear from the Lord and called him, put a call across to him. This, that man will die. Yes. This is 22 minutes now. Sorry, taking my time. I want to build your faith. I want you to... I want you to grow in faith in the Lord. Don't look up to anybody, to any man. To, don't look up to any human being, a pastor, a prophet, as your Lord. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. You will obey them, but look up to the Lord Jesus Christ alone, the author and the finisher of our faith. What did the Bible say? Study the word to show thyself approved unto men, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. That is what the Bible said. And he said, study my word day in, day out. In so doing, I will make your ways prosperous. Yes. Early this year, after this testimony, that will go to crypto. Early this year, I have, I have four dogs. My dogs, four dogs. My children name them. I have four dogs. Um, one, one. <laughs> let me mention the name. One, one. The name is Blade. One. The name is Timmy. The other one, the name is um, Tacha. Then the last one, Bingo. I have four dogs. Early this year, Blade got missing. We woke up in the morning and we couldn't find this dog. I live near a, a swamp. The building I occupied is inside. Um, is inside uh, very close to a swampy area. Very close to a swampy area. The house I live. So this dog disappeared and my children were panicking. They came to me. We can't find Blade. We looked for him all around the premises. We went outside everywhere. We checked other neighbors. We couldn't find this dog. And then I told my children to relax that maybe they've stolen the dog or something killed the dog. Maybe a python swallowed the dog because we have python all around. 
we killed python several uh, many times here before where python try to swallow uh, a mother goat with pregnancy a goat with pregnancy we uh, one 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 brother in our neighborhood a friend of mine mr kushode is late now he killed the python so there are python roaming around so i told my children maybe the dog has been eaten by a python that they should relax the children were not happy they, because i shared the dog i have four kids so i have four dogs each person have one dog so and then the lord spoke to me have you prayed about that dog i said yes lord and that night as i was communing with the lord i prayed and i told you see when the lord speak to you if you start hearing from the lord whatever the lord told you it is as good as done when i'm praying standing in the gap for all of you here on youtube whenever the lord bring a case of anybody when i'm praying i know it is solved already because this this testimony i'm giving this dog of mine the dog that got lost blade we couldn't find the dog for three good days and we've given up before this the, before the lord spoke to me have you prayed about this dog that that lost and i said to myself forgive me lord i thought the dog is dead but i prayed that night and i told the lord because you have spoken to me that means the dog is alive somewhere bring this dog home my father yes because if, if the dog is dead the lord will not speak to me that have you prayed about this dog immediately i heard that voice i knew in my heart i am convinced that this dog is alive somewhere and i prayed lo and behold one evening because i have a, a mini fence around my house and my second my, my third child my son my third child he called my name daddy daddy we have found blade and when i came out the dog was actually down below half of the leg was stained with um, mud as if the dog got the dog got stuck in the mud i don't know the dog was so lean so weak couldn't walk up so somebody there was a visitor in my house that day went down and picked the dog up and we baited for the dog call um i didn't even call veterinary doctor i <laughs> forgive me i administer uh, some drugs myself for the dog we gave the dog some ampicloss couldn't eat even water the dog couldn't drink water and the lord permitted my heart i gave the dog some ampicloss powdery ampicloss we mix it with water and we force the dog to drink it the dog couldn't swallow and then there is a local way we treat dog here palm carne oil we gave it to the dog we're forcing the dog to, to drink and gradually the dog begin to recover 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 it took the dog about a week plus to recover you see i didn't mean i didn't hear from the lord have you prayed about it Maybe the dog would die. Different ways. Is it on my business where we go on daily basis? The Lord will speak. Do like this. Do like that. Hallelujah. Today is Sunday. I have my time to myself. I'm relaxing. After church, I need to relax at home. Every Sunday is resting day. So I'm taking my time to do this video to build your faith. To make you see the reason why we say when God speak. I saw it happen. If cryptocurrency has not happened, it is closed. Tarry in the place of patience and wait and wait upon the Lord. Yes, I was asking the Lord. Let's talk about cryptocurrency now. So I was asking the Lord, what do the second quarter hold for us? For cryptocurrency. Speak to me, Lord. Or give me a vision regarding any crypto. And the Lord kept mute. But as I was studying his word, in the afternoon and the lord brought to my remembrance the vision i had about shiba inu i didn't think it i was studying the word and he brought to me 
the vision i i closed I, I closed my eye i was studying and i was relaxing like this resting the bible was in my front but i was relaxing after i've studied and he brought to me my eye closed. he brought to me the vision that i i had last two years about shiba you know i miss the first wave of shiba you know i miss it yes i miss it i miss it because of disobedience yes i miss the first wave of shiba Inu because of disobedience yes shiba Inu's created um, deleted i think i don't know most of the zeros in 2021 right march 2021 i wanted to invest in that shiba i have enough money in my hand 2021 a boy of mine one of my boy in christ is the one who taught me a lot about the cryptocurrency how to how to buy how to sell how to set li uh, limit orders how to transfer and all that and i was looking at this coin the lord didn't tell me anything about the coin but i fell in love with that shiba you know i wanted i have about um 400 000 at hand 2021 i wanted to invest into one particular business and i want to put little money in shiba you know in march 2021 and did you know that i put only maybe thirty thousand naira in shiba you know and then three hundred thousand plus in naira i put it in that other business i didn't been as my spirit told me i should put money in that shiba you know i so much believe in that business because that business will bring me quick money quick return you see my life and I put huge amount of money in that business. And I put very small amount of money in Shiba Inu. When Shiba Inu by October down to December 2021, I regretted. I nearly cried. I would have been a multi-millionaire in Naira. A multi-millionaire. I didn't mean I put that money in, in Shiba Inu. So I missed the first wave of uh, Shiba Inu because of disobedience. And since that time, that time to I said see i obey before i start thinking when the lord speaks so the lord brought to my vision sorry for digressing the lord brought back that vision i had last two years 2022 i had that vision and the lord spoke to me when i when he brought the vision and i i come to consciousness and he spoke to me you uh, he spoke to me gold and silver we rise shiba will rise along with gold and silver yes watch this word and see because i was asking the lord i told the lord will shiba inu he told me that shiba inu we, when i missed that first wave i was pleading for forgiveness and he told me shiba inu we have second wave i should be patient and since then i begin to invest in shiba inu so while i was asking the lord the second wave of shiva and he spoke to me that afternoon while i was studying the world gold silver i don't invest into gold mm -mm, me i don't invest into silver i don't even know how to invest in gold and silver i don't know believe me but he said gold and silver shiba inu they will rise together gold and silver shiba inu will rise together that's what the lord told me so this is the word keep your crypto bag for shiba inu keep it and guard it jealously don't sell to buy another coin if you've been discouraged by shiba inu wait he said i should wait impatient i will wait any year to happen any month it will happen i will wait upon the lord for shiba inu that is what the lord spoke to me then two for lunar classic lunar classic lunar classic coin lunar classic coin is going to 0 0.01 yes the lord told me it's going to 0 0.01 the lord showed me 20 is it 2022 or 2023 last year yes last year mid last year 2023 the lord gave me that vision and that vision was very clear there are some vision that will not be clear you try to to focus you will not it will not be clear but this one was clear to me on shiba in on on, on luna classic sorry where i saw luna classic deleted two zeros leaving 0 0.01 that vision was clear and i was when i saw that that price point where that 
that arrow came from up and slashed two zeros. So the Lord spoke to me. You see, uh, Lunar Classic will delete two zeros and it will remain at that zero point zero one for some time. Yes, that is what the Lord told me. It will remain on 0.01 for some time. It will move further, but it will remain on 0.01 for some time. But it's going to delete to zero. When the move starts, when um, Lunar Classic starts, delete one zero, it will not stop until it delete another zero. Before it will stop, it will take a break and then move further. I know the Lord showed other believers out there higher price point, like $1 and plus, $1 plus. But I saw, the Lord showed me mid last year, 0.01. And the Lord spoke to me recently that it's going to happen soon. It will happen very soon. Very, very, very soon. It will happen. It will move fast with two zeros. That is Lunar Classic. It will happen. Just keep your crypto bag. You see, the Lord will bless us this year. He told me we will rejoice and be glad indeed this year. I don't know which coin we come for. We, we move first. I don't know, but this this is the word he spoke to me regarding Shiba Inu and Luna Classic. Hold your crypto portfolio and guard it jealously. Jealously, be happy you are alive, and I pray for you. The Lord God Almighty will preserve you and your household in the name of Jesus. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I should pray for your crypto portfolio to everyone under the sound of my voice. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon your crypto portfolio. Yes, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon your crypto bag, upon your crypto wallet, upon your ledger. We don't have ledger here. Upon your ledger, upon your decent wallet, upon your trust wallet. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Your wallet will never be truncated. It will never be hacked. Scammers shall be far away from your crypto bag. Hackers shall be far away from your crypto portfolio in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 37 minutes. I want to use this opportunity, opportunity to say thank you. To, to say thank you to all of you who has partnered with this ministry the Lord has placed in my hand. I pray for you every day. I hardly pray for myself. I hardly pray for myself because anyone who's standing the gap for others, the Lord will pray for that person. Yes. Every time, every night I meet with the Lord, I pray for you. I bring your case before the Lord and I pray and I continue to pray. My father of faith tell me, pray until something happens. And all of you that send your prayer point, you will testify soon. I have received one testimony on my on my YouTube uh, YouTube channel, George Perez. George Perez, may the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Before you give this testimony, I told my wife that freedom that you will win that case. That case will be to your favor. I told my wife, but glory to God, I saw your testimony that the court case was to your favor. May God bless you, brother George Perez. And to everyone, your prayer, your, your all your prayer requests. I am praying on it on daily basis. And the Lord God, who is a prayer answering God, will answer all of you one after the other in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless all of you who has been a blessing to the ministry. You don't know what you people are doing here in Nigeria via my ministry. You don't know. You don't know. A Muslim brother up there who has no job, he's a widower. He's one of the people that my ministry, we bless them monthly. We give them uh, food monthly and money. As our power as our financial capability we take sometimes they go he visited me around in the night this muslim brother this muslim brother is now praying for me calling jesus <laughs> you see when you bless people when you help the needy then they will have listening ear you preach the gospel to them i am i am shocked i was shocked when the man was he brought his children to my house in the night and why did you visit me by this time he dressed up the children well and he came to my house and he said he came to appreciate everything that the Lord is doing through my ministry. And he told the children that look at the man that is paying your school fees. He pointed at me that he told the two sons, he has two kids, he's a widower. He said, he told them, look at the man that is paying your school fees. And joy filled my heart. And I begin to glorify the Lord. I begin to pray for all of you. All of you who has been helping this ministry. You are touching life here in Africa. If you see the amount of people we bless on a monthly basis with food stuff, people cannot afford to eat. People are dying of hunger here. No wonder. No wonder. 
no wonder I was called into kingdom finance here 11 years ago 12 years ago now no wonder I begin is is is, is be, it begin to make sense to me now I never knew as I was doing this giving since 12 years ago I never knew a time will come I will have believers who will join me helping people I never knew I never knew if you remember there was a brother in Christ of mine who died last year that I put out the video is it last year yes I was in their house I even in, in that video I showed the dead body of the brother that all of you supported me and we transported the dead body to the village to be buried and we blessed the family we gave them accommodation the first son now is under scholarship in my he's writing jam now to the university my ministry paid for his jam we are helping people with the funds you are sending we are changing lives helping people sometimes when they come thanking in, in, in our prayer meeting don't thank me thank god and all of you i have told them this is the ministry i have this is what the lord called me to do channel your prayer to those who are helping me to help you people who are joining me to help you people and i tell you categorically all of you who are giver in in the secret place i don't know all of you but the good lord knows all of you my god that i serve that see you give in secret he will bless you openly yes he will bless you openly all of you secret givers secret supporters to my ministry secret partnership to my ministry i will not mention name today god knows all of you sometimes i receive crypto donations i don't know where it's coming from and the particular person who sent will not put his name even on youtube you are a secret giver usdt you are you they will send you are a secret giver but my god knows all of you xrp i receive xdc and i pray i pray for all of you on daily basis you are changing lives here in nigeria in lagos where i am i am not taking the glory anytime they come thanking me i channel all glory to almighty god thanking him who helped me to help others who blessed me to bless others yes that is what he called me to do in the body of christ I was prophesying that I'm going to be a, a billionaire, a kingdom billionaire, a kingdom financier. It's, it begin to make sense to me now, gradually to me now. Years ago, years ago, oh my God, I never knew I would be able to do this. If not without all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Look at the church that the, 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 the Lord asked me to put all the windows recently. I couldn't I couldn't have done it all alone if it is me alone but the Lord use you my sister my brothers and sisters in Christ out there joining me together and we're able to help ministries not only individual we help churches we have poor churches you see the man of God that was called so poor languishing in poverty and they have anointing if you go to them for prayer whatever they pray you get answer immediately and they are languishing in poverty and the Lord told me recently that I have not started kingdom financier he said i have not started at all um, he said wait until the wealth that i'll transfer get to you recently we are in a meeting i have said this word before a bro brother prophesied to me he didn't know me before he didn't know me in that prayer meeting the brother did not know me the, bro the, the brother said the lord said i should tell you the kind of wealth he want to hand over to you can you handle it i said yes lord with you i can handle it That, that, that was what was prophesied to me that one was uh, recently not 11 that one, that one was recently so believers in christ the lord will transfer word to us via cryptocurrency and go to god in prayer some of you have you prayed what did you want to use this world what will you invest this world into the lord has showed me what i will invest after the word transfer that will bless people all the days of my life he has shown me the business already the name of the business he has given me already the business i will invest in you to take your own to the lord in prayer because when this world come dumping you will get confused if you have not pray and seek the face of the lord what will you do with the world after the word transfer begin to happen because it will happen faces by faces you will see the kind of money you have not seen before you get confused and you will not be able to use the money well it can even cause some people 
to get disconnected from God. You have to pray and be soaking yourself in the Lord now that I must not get disconnected from Him. No matter any word you, you will give to me, Father, I will remain. Give me the grace to remain focused, to remain attached to you, to remain connected to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the true vine. Give me the grace to remain connected to you. And I will not get disconnected even after the, after the world you gave me this world, this promised world. You keep praying now, now, not, not, not when it happens. 45 minutes already, it's too long. May God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. May God bless me. Shalom.